Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I'm a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is workbook live links. So we'll have a look at how you would use this functionality in the software. For those of you who don't know what Costex is or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications, supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, DWGs, all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data, enabling you to utilize this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to use and navigate. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes, meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customise your own report, producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out the RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our Coffee Break webinars and you can also subscribe so you can get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to videos. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we will be reviewing the functionality of live links used in workbooks within Costex. Firstly, let's discuss where we can use workbook live links. So within a workbook, there are three sheets that live links can be used on. These are the cost sheets, quantity sheets and rate sheets. They can also be used on any level. What does a live link look like? So any hard typed information in a workbook will be presented in black text, but any data that is live linked will have green font. When selected, it will display a formula showing where the information is coming from. What can they be linked to? So there are a number of libraries that can be live linked and they are dimension groups, rates, constants and workbook values. The idea of a live link is that if anything in these libraries is linked and then altered, i.e. rate update or quantity variation, then the data that it's linked to will update automatically. This will be demonstrated in this video. So let's take a look at the functionality of live links in workbooks. So one of the first ways we can have a look at live links is uh, from a dimension group. So this will be to do with your quantities. Um, the benefit of having the live link with uh, or connected to your dimension group is that anytime it's updated or anytime it's changed, then your workbook is automatically changed as well. So what I'll show you is uh, how that's actually created. If we go into uh, one of our elemental items. So for example, let's go into ceiling finishes. I'll double click in here um, and you can see we've already got some quantities in here. And as I said in the presentation, anything in a green text uh, means that it is live linked. So let's, for example, bring over some dimensions. Uh, let's say we want to bring across the conference room pick it up, drag it across, change the description to conference room ceiling. We want the area, so that's fine. We can also change the rounding if we want to, um, but the important thing here is we want to make sure this is selected, so live quantity link. So if you were to turn this off, then you'd get the numerical value, but it wouldn't be live linked. It would actually turn up in black text, letting you know that it's not live linked. If I update this, you can see, that we've got our 60 meters squared here and we can just add in a rate that we need to. So let's demonstrate the benefit of this. So I've actually got a button up here saying show source. So I've got my 60 meters squared selected there. I'm gonna click on show source. And what this is gonna do is take me to the drawing that it relates to, showing me exactly where that quantity is coming from. Okay, so we've gone to our second floor plan CAD drawing and we can see here that the 60 meters squared 
is actually coming from this conference room here. Now, if we were to alter this in any way, so for example, let's just say we want to add in uh, this advisors room as well. Uh, what we can do is just select that. So it's in the same dimension group. So obviously uh, the amount has changed. So 110 meters squared now. So if I go back to my workbook view, we can see this has automatically updated to the latest value. So once again, I'm going to go to show source. I'm just going to delete this area. I'm going to go back to my workbook and you can see once again, it's gone back to the 60 meters squared, which is the accurate information. So because of this show source button and because of the live link, um, anything that's updated will automatically update here. This allows you to just freely do your quantities and not have to manually update everywhere that possesses that quantity in your workbook. So another way to um, have a live link is from rate libraries. So um, what we can do is have a look at some of our rates. So we've got, um, for example, floor finishes. So let's go into here and we can see that we've already got some rates plugged in. Um, let's go down to our skirting. So let's say we want to go into our timber skirtings painted, double click on here. And as you can see, I've got a couple of live links here. So I've got uh, £16 per metre and also £5 per metre for the paint to our skirting here. Now, if I highlight up here, you can see that uh, we've got a custom formula in here. So this is saying X get rate, so get the rate and then the rate code um, and then the rounding of that. Now, we have selected in our properties uh, which... Um, default rate library to relate to. So when we type in that code, when we reference that code, it knows which code library to search for. Okay, so the benefit of having the rate library live linked is that if once again it's edited or updated, then this will automatically update as well. So if we were to find that specific rate, so we've gone into um, our rate libraries, project rates, uh, let's go into the painting one, we can see that it's five pounds per meter. Now, if I go into here and edit this rate, then if I was to change it to seven pound 50 and then update, we can see there that that changed as well. So I didn't have to manually go in and change everywhere on this workbook that contains that rate. Um, it's automatically done it for me. Um, Again, you can right click here, edit this rate, and then go back, change it back to the five, update there, and actually it's updated your rate library over here as well. So the benefit of the live link is just the speed in which it does everything for you. You're not having to manually go back and adjust everything. It is all updated automatically. Now, another way we can look at live links is with our workbook values. So what I mean by workbook values is anything that is a named cell. So an example of this is if I go back up to my level one, in my calc sheet, I've actually got a named cell in here. So I've got the construction program duration of 62 weeks. Um, and as you can see, as I clicked that, we can see that that is a named cell. So I've called that duration. Um, if I was to click anywhere else, you can see that it's just the cell reference. So we can see that that is indeed a named cell. So if I want to put this information anywhere, for example, let's go back to our cost sheet and go to our prelims. Um, if I double click on here, we can see down here that we do have quite a few items which need the construction program duration input. So what I can do is just go to my workbook values tab here and just click on this. And as you can see, I've got my workbook value or named cell in here that I can simply just pick up and pull across to the cell that needs it. Um, so I'm just gonna populate all of these items So as you can see, the text is green and it's actually got this formula in. So X get name cell duration. So when this is updated, once again, this will automatically be updated. So if I go back up to level one, 
let's say you've experienced some delay with your program duration um, and it's now actually going to be 82 weeks instead of 62. I'm just going to update that there and then go to my cost tab and then go back into my prelims and you can see that that's now updated to 82 weeks. So once again, I've not had to manually do that. I've only had to adjust it in one place and then it's adjusted it everywhere on my workbook for me. There is another instance where you could use a live link um, and that is in constants and again works in exactly the same way um, you just pull this information across um, and update it where needed there is actually another youtube video on constants um, so go check that out if that's something that you're interested in but the general rule is that if it's green text it's live linked to something if you click on it then you can see what it's live linked to using our custom functions um, and as i've said throughout the video the main benefit um, is just the automation and the speed in which it adjusts your workbook for you. Okay, that's the end of the webinar for workbook live links. Uh, hopefully I've answered any questions that you might have had, um, but otherwise give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the how-to videos which we update monthly. Um, and like I said, go check out our Constance video if you haven't already, and you can see how the live link works with those. Um, and whilst you're there, just check out any other videos that may be useful to you.